there's a lot of cultural discussion going on because of Wakanda Forever, and I am here for it. But one of the things that I'm here for as an Afro, as an Afro Latina, is the absolute um, just exposing of colorism in the Hispanic community. Have you heard? Because these motherfucking Telemundo looking ass, white Hispanic ass motherfuckers are mad because Namor, Namor, the Nochuerta, that beautiful fucking man, is too dark. Is too dark. Apparently they said it it excludes pale Hispanics. Wait, 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 wait. What? Are you serious? Oh my god. Okay, people, okay, let's <laughs> yeah, let's fucking talk because colorism is not new to the black folk in the Hispanic community. So much so that people don't even people forget that we even fucking exist in the Hispanic community. Lupita Nyong'o has been speaking Spanish in so many of these interviews, and people are going like, "Lupita is Hispanic." Yeah, she's been Hispanic this whole entire fucking time. This whole time, it's just that you guys don't see black people as Hispanic because we've been erased so much, but. The the way that the Hispanic community has been bamboozled, the Latin Hispanic community, whatever, has been bamboozled into forgetting that, A, um, no matter how spicy it may be viewed today, Spanish is a colonizer language. Spanish is a colonizer language. And the way that, and I think, I think my generation is getting way better at this, but the way like some of our parents and grandparents try to erase blackness and just dark skin in general away from I, our identity, even though like it's very, very clearly there. Like we all know motherfuckers will be walking around with full ass afros using motherfucking BB and pink lotion and be like, I know black puppy, I know that, you know what I mean? But, but, but also, but also that also applies to forgetting that we're indigenous too. Which is one of the things that I loved about this movie so much because when we talk about being Native American, when we talk about indigeneity, when it comes to the Americas, we get forgotten. We get very much forgotten, like the, the Central South American uh, indigenous. And I think it's because like we've been homogeneously bleh, lumped into ba basically what colonization created as Central America, Mexico, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua. Like we've forgotten that before they fucking got here, we were, they, it was, we, <laughs> Mexico, Central America, all that shit was fucking indigenous. Indigenous. And I am so gag, <laughs> I am giggling that these Telemundo fucking telenove telenovela looking ass motherfuckers are so fucking pressed because Talocan is basically an illustration, just like Wakanda, of what if this part of the world, what if Central America was never touched by colonization? Motherfucker, what the fuck do you think they would look like? What the fuck do you think we would look like if y'all never got here? That ever occurred to you? Or maybe it did. Maybe it did but they're fucking mad. I, <laughs> it, it's, it's such an obvious thing because like I said, it's such an obvious thing that a civilization like, that a civilization like Talocan would have brown indigenous ass looking people with indigenous fucking features. No, it's facial features, cheekbones, the foot, brown skin, everything. That is a very, very obvious thing. Like, I don't care who you are. That's not too easy to pick up, but I do think especially in the Hispanic community that a lot of people are getting really fucking pressed because we are like, especially like my generation, I think in generation Z, we're educating the world more that Hispanic doesn't just look like J-Lo or Eva Longoria or whatever. Like Hispanic looks like the Nochuerta. Hispanic looks like Lupita Nyong'o. Like 
we come in all different colors and the way that the Hispanic community has tried to erase the indigeneity and blackness of our community is absolutely gross. And those that have benefited from that standard of beauty and that standard of fucking status that has existed since Spanish colonization, mind you, right? We've got the Europeans, you know, we got Mestizo, we got Mulato, we've got um, <clears throat> what, um, she, uh, Moreno, you know what I mean? Like Zambo, we have all of these class, like it's, it was a, it's been a class system from the jump. Creole, it's been a class system from the jump. It's been a class system from the jump. And like I said, just like white supremacy in general, these folks have been able to benefit from those standards of beauty and those standards of status for a long time. Maybe not without saying it out loud, but it's, but, but just silently, but just silently knowing, you know, the way that reggaeton music, everybody, nobody, everybody has, it's been completely erased and forgotten that reggaeton, I believe came from Panama and from black people. Like, you know what I mean? And like you look at the faces of reggaeton they do not look like they do not look like the people who started that style of music they absolutely do not i think that a lot of members of the latinx hispanic community are very fucking mad because it's becoming less and less possible for you to benefit from that level of privilege and from the ignorance of the world because y'all were able to bamboozle them into thinking that everybody that, that hispanic looks a certain way and then everybody that was darker skinned were just fucking forgotten. But now people like Tenoch Huerta are being put in the fucking forefront and reminding everyone that, hey, if we're being fucking honest, almost every brown Hispanic that you see is probably fucking actually indigenous. Every brown ass Mexican person that you see or Guatemalan or Honduran or whatever is probably some form of Aztec or Mayan, okay? Probably, okay? We're like, the world is being reminded of that. And I think that lighter skin and white, like white Hispanics are getting very, very fucking pressed about that because they're not, because they're slowly losing, slowly losing that ability to, um, so, so slowly losing that ability to to capitalize on that privilege. It's only it may not happen very soon, but it's only a matter of time before the like people start calling out them telenovelas for featuring the most alabaster Hispanic people in the world and using the fucking um, not even black but mestizo and uh, Moreno people as the help, as the maids, as the whatever, you know, in these shows. It's only a matter of time, and I know y'all are fucking scared, okay? It's only a matter of time, and I know you're fucking scared, and I'm so fucking happy about it. I'm so goddamn happy, because growing up in the Hispanic community and being shamed for being darker and being, like, just being outed has been such a horrible existence, okay? It's been, it was such a confusing thing as a child. It was confusing for a lot of us children, Okay, but mm, mm, but now mm, I'm not saying that it's going to change overnight. I'm not saying Wakanda Forever is going to change things overnight, but the way that but it's just the way that some of y'all were fucking rattled by somebody who looks who it who is and looks fucking indigenous playing an indigenous character in a civilization that was never touched by colonization. I find it really fucking funny that that's like rattling some of you guys. Telemundo ass looking motherfuckers. That's hilarious to me. And I hope you stay fucking scared. I hope you stay scared.